Howdy y'all, I'm around the wheel, you're watching Zelda 2 Redux. Today we are in what is supposed to be a microcosm of old Hyrule from Zelda 1. Like, this entire portion of the map down here, the southwestern part of the continent, is basically Zelda 2. I always liked these enemies when I was a kid. They were basically what I imagined tapeworms looking like. Wow, how did I avoid that? We're going here is where we're going. We're going in here. It's kind of like a, it's kind of a mini dungeon. It's not like really a real dungeon. Oh, hey, this guy. Uh, I was pronouncing it Daria yesterday, uh, but I think it's actually Dyra. So I'm sure somebody will have corrected me between now and then. So, so that's fun. Anyway, let's get you out of the way and you, you crawly little wall thing. There we go. We've got the, we've got the good. Okay, we can't see what our next level is. That's kind of... Yeah, can't see what the... Uh, 700 is for what? We're gonna join the 700 club? <laughs> Not on my watch. Okay, so let's move on through. We're making it... We're doing pretty good. These guys kind of remind me... I, did I say they remind me of Super Mario 2? Like tweeters? Probably... Oh yeah, I don't have the downward stab yet. Um, probably gonna get that today, but... Whoa, uh-oh. Uh-oh, I hear my heart rate. I'm about to go to the hospital. Oh, right there. Ouch. Took it on the chin. Oh, no. Loan denied. Return of Ganon. Well, there I go. Where do I continue from here? Uh, I know this heck... Oh, yep. I wasn't in a palace, so I'm not restarting. In Zelda 2 Redux, you restart from... Uh, if you're in a palace and you get game over, you restart from that palace. But we're going to have to make our way back manually because we were not actually in a palace. We were in a dungeon of sorts, but not an actual palace. So I will rejoin you when I get back there. Okay, made it to 700 while I was trying to get back to where I was. And yeah, I think I'm gonna take that magic boost, thanks. Uh, not too much farther than that to defense, so I could have gone for that, but uh, you know, whatever. Okay, I think we're roughly back to where we were. Yeah, we're in this room. I think I was taken out by a... I think I was taken out by a Dyra. That sounds about right. Oh, about to be taken out by another one. But the aggressive approach seems to work, at least with the orange ones. Alright, so here... Oh, hey, a bag of pee. Really weird that they keep their pee in bags. Must be a Canadian thing. Alright, so what's over here? There we go. And dead end absolute dead end so maybe we should check out what that what that elevator is all about there let's take the lift down to here okay and oh hey some company very nice why don't you come out this way actually some why don't you come out into the uh, open where i can hit you a little harder and a little more often took down that one pretty well hey all right i don't mind that Okay, let's pop across here. Oh yeah, can't deal with those guys yet. That thing is called a Miu, I believe. Like Ryu, but it's a Miu. Alright. We don't have the downward stab yet, so... Boy, I really would like to have some downward stab in action. How about some not axe in the face action? That would that would be much better. I think we have just enough to, to do a full heal there. Alright. I'll let him make the first move. That determines how I'm going. Ah, oh, gosh. So, yeah, sometimes sometimes they get really, really axy throwy. Oh, hey, all right. We're up to defense. We could get more attack. Could start going for attack. I think we're... And then I just push start anyway like a goon. Okay, well, we've got higher defense then. And we've got a hammer. That's what we came here for. The hammer, which can break the rocks that are all around the road. We're gonna be breaking a few rocks today, actually. We're just gonna be some rock-breaking sons of guns. So, back this way. All right. Wait for wait for this guy to just run off into the lava. Thank you. Not dealing with you currently, because I have literally no way of doing so. He can go underneath my butter knife. So, my... <laughs> I don't know why I look... I look... <laughs> I was gonna say, I don't know why I looked, like to put the lifts down like that. Those two, these two are colluding in a way that I am not a fan of. Why don't you quit hiding behind your little friend there, Dyra? You coward. Yeah, 
Ah, cowards carry a lot of money on them, apparently. So there we go. Let's get away from here. Get on out of here. Boy, this is messy. I tells ya. Oh, man. Uh-oh. Is this another dead end? Well, there's at least, uh... There's at least magic over here. So let's go ahead and heal it up. And then do a refill. A lot easier to do full heals in this game because the all the spells are half price from what they originally were. So uh, healing is a lot cheaper, especially right now. Uh, various things are just way cheaper than they used to be, and that makes that makes using magic you you don't you don't have this need to hang on to your magic. For important times. You can be a little more liberal in your usage of, like, the heal spell and stuff. So, it's pretty good that way. So now we're gonna go outside. I think we're... I think this was the opening room. And now to break rocks, we just go up to a rock and press A. Oh, I was pressing a button that does nothing. There's the A button. I love that little falling scrolling effect. That's nice. And also nice is getting a magic container. So there we go. We've got a magic container. Hooray us. Six bars of magic. Six down, two to go. So now we are going to go ahead and just uh, exit stage right. He was up for too long. I let him grow back. There we go. Very good. Very well. All right. Okay, some magic. Don't need that, but... I'll always take things I don't need. After all, I am the one-up man. Oh no, another encounter. Second verse, same as the first. So maybe this time... Uh, pretty much the same number of giant tapeworm cactuses, no matter which way you go. Oh god, that's gonna let him grow, isn't it? Okay, well... He, I guess he enjoys sitting in the same... God, I hate those things. Okay. Well, let's get out of here while we can. There's, it's going to be a long side path. That was a pretty froggy jump. Uh, and I was... Oh, gosh, boy. These Octoroks are giving me the what for. Alright, so... Yeah, just make sure we're not near the lava when they do anything... When they try anything funny. There we go. We should be safely out of there then. Okay, anything up the road here that's going to... Are we going to be instantly transported to something? Okay, yeah, no. No little interstitial action scenes, but we do have a bridge to cross. We'll cross a bridge when we get to it, and we have gotten to it. Oh, my moblins. This one can actually throw. Yeah, there he goes. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and have a heal. Yeah, see, so even a blue jar gives us back half the magic we used healing. That is the Redux way. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, it's bubble time. Dr. Bubble Man. Dr. Bubble Man and a red Dyra. I don't think so. How am I avoiding getting hit here? That was... Wow. That was... Somebody else was controlling my hands there. That's not... That's not how Roundy plays. Zelda 2 typically. Oh, man. Almost got out of there unscathed if it wasn't for the bubbles. Okay, so... We are not going to go into the graveyard because that's a... That's a bit of scary business there. So, where do we want to go first? I don't know if we want to go to King's Tomb yet. There is something south of King's Tomb, as a as an NPC will tell you. What does a strong encounter look like? Are we going to get that? No, we're not. Ah, no, I didn't want to go to the graveyard. Moas can eat my entire face. I thought they took experience, though. Maybe not. Well, let's get out of here while we can. Uh... There we go. We're at King's Tomb. Uh, the lady tells us that this is King's Tomb, not the uh, not the actual grave site itself. But here we go. Take a drop. Are we good to go in here yet? Oh, no. We should not have come in here yet, probably. Okay, so let's go ahead and heal. Yeah, we need that healing pretty badly. Oh, yeah. We have to have the fairy spell to get in here. We aren't. We can't become fairies yet. Let's all be fairies. Later. Okay, so we need to get out of here before anything too terribly bad happens. Oh, now there's a fine how do you do. Good God. Okay, out of here we are. Let's let's not mess with that how about. Let's just, uh... Let's just... Oh, wow. A strong encounter on the road. Wow, that's a really strong road you got there. That is some kind of asphalt. Okay, so now we got a few places to run around here. We're going to take a walk down the road, first of all, back to about where we got 
the first doll. There's something going on in here now. All right, so there is a, there was a cave over here, as we recall. Overshot it a little bit. Okay, what's going on in this cave? Hey, that was a that was a nice little surprise. Wow, boy, I'm getting I'm getting hit by just the tiniest mooks you can imagine. This is boy, I'm I'm the mook here. Jeez, what a jabroni. That round the wheel. He's the suckiest suck that ever sucked. Okay. I'm going to take on this Dyro without healing first. I was going to say, maybe that's a mistake. But, uh... I keep going back to the menu out of habit. But you don't technically have to do that. As long as I'm on the heal spell, all is well. Wow, that went better than the orange one. How about that? So what's... A oh, another one. Hey. Oh, this one's a, this one's a little saucier. This one's got... This one's a sassy Freddy Molassi. Wow. There we go. See? Already selected, so I didn't have to do anything special with it. A bottle of medicine. We're going to need that in a town across the way, so... Uh, good thing we came here for that. We're going to need that, I believe, to get the fairy spell. So let's make our way on out of here and across to the other side of the map, or at least as far to the other side of the map as we can get for now. Alright, we're going to come over to this little dockside town here. Uh, we'll be able to go over here later when we have a raft, but we don't have a raft right now, and that's okay. We don't need the raft just yet. There's a couple of things to do in this town. Uh, first of all, yeah, I will come in, thanks. Although I could use the magic lady's services a bit more. Does she live on the other side of this duplex? She does not. What's in here? Alright, how are you doing there? Error, who lives in Ruto, has to know about the temples. He has to. Is it part of the core requirements for his master's degree in temples? That error. Always just a learning about temples, don't you know? Anybody in this house? No. Okay, so... Ah, here's guy number one that we're here for. But we need magic first, so uh, let's find... Let's find the magic healing lady. There we go. Very nice. She'll restore your magic? All right. Very nice. I'm not going to ask how she restores my magic. I'm just going to take it on faith. There we go. So let's go in the upstairs of this house here, which looks suspiciously like the downstairs of any other house. Now let's go in here. And we're not going to kneel at the feet of a wizened old man in a robe. We're going to learn at the feet of this knight. Teach me, O oh knight. When you jump, press down to perform a down thrust. Nothing like performing a good thrust, am I right, folks? Well, so here we go, yes. One of the most unique and awesome moves in the game right here. We get to, now we can jump on slimes, we can jump on just about anything we want, except for certain armored enemies who are double jerks because of, because of how much they can avoid my down stab. Okay, ah, yes, there you are. The sacred water. My daughter is saved. I didn't even know you had a daughter that needed saving. Okay, I did know that, but now it's time to go downstairs and learn ourselves another spell. And that's going to get us down inside King's Tomb. So here we go. There we go. Here's the old man that we're used to. Borrow the power of the fairies with this spell. There we go. Fairy, right there. Well, not the one that the arrow was pointing at when I said that, but fairy, right here. Costs the same amount to become a fairy as to heal. Which, uh, sounds like a bargain to me. There we go. Alright, so let's get on out of here then. A couple more stops in just random caves, and then we will, uh, call it a day before we start in on palace number two. I like to do everything I can before I get to the second palace. Makes you kind of, uh, makes you kind of OP for that particular palace. But then the palaces start rolling pretty quick, like... It's just one after the other after that. And like once you do everything on this side of the continent, it's just uh, it's just palaces all the way down. Quite honestly, hey, a fairy. Uh, I don't think I need the life gain though. So, all right. So now, there we go. Just bop right on your face, and your face too. How about or your face? We can even bop on Gorilla's face. Hey, Gorilla, you ever hear of a little thing called armor? Yeah, I'm trying to be fancy over here, so... Hey! That is an amount of money I will definitely not mind having in my pocket. 
My pockets are so full of bags of pee at this point. Hey, a heart container. There we go. That is most definitely what I'm talking about. Well, we don't have the up thrust yet, but that's okay. I would be up thrusting ceilings for no good reason if we had the up thrust. Plus, it's not quite as useful a move as the down thrust. You just had to die. You had to die. Them's the rules. I don't make the rules, but the rules said you had to die, so there we are. I think there's another bag of pee in here. People just leave their bags of pee all over the place. They don't even refrigerate them properly. My god. Get it together, Hyrule. What is your problem? I hear a gorilla. Yeah, there we go. Thought I heard the uh, boomerang sound. I am disappointed that you didn't give me 20 whole experience points. Do you understand how close I am to a level up, Gurria? I mean, a level up that I'm going to skip, but granted. Uh, I think the bag of pee is at the end of this corridor. It's right there. Not even being guarded, so we could take a magic boost, but no, we are in fact not going to do that at all. Okay, so let's move on then. Boom, boom, boom. Over the tops of the pillars, over, over, and out. Here we go. So I think that's pretty much everything to be done. Unless I skipped a cave or two, which I don't feel like I did, then that's pretty much it before the second palace. Just got to trudge through the swamp. Would have liked, well, no. I was going to say I would have liked the fairy, but at least this is a weak encounter. The strong, strong encounter has some... Nasty bird enemies. Was there ever a bird in a video game that wasn't nasty? Oh, hey, you're gonna get to see the bird. Here it is. There it is. But if I stay, like, eye level like this, they'll just come straight to me. Don't don't panic too much trying to get to the birds. There we go. That wasn't so bad. The birds kind of did what I expected them to do. I thought one of those was a... One of those was an action scene of some kind. Maybe I'm wrong, like... Eh, okay. They're just little safe spaces where you can do without enemy encounters. Alright. Oh, hey. Not... I don't think so, buddy. There we go. Get you to go over my head so that I can ignore you. And there's the second palace. And we will save this palace for next time. Uh, because palaces from this point should be sufficient to take up most of a day, if not the entire. So, there we go. Second Palace, coming up next time on Round the Wheel Industries, a limited liability company.